you tightening your timings and getting a lower nanosecond might not be the lowest hanging fruit for those specific games each game engine slash game has a different lowest hanging fruit so you might be attacking a fruit but it might not be the lowest one depending on the game that you're playing so just just don't don't be like so if you lowered your nanoseconds by four nanoseconds and you got like two fps use your de like your deductive reasoning like okay that's not the lowest hanging fruit right now right you gotta go with that um so actually let's let's segue into this one i was testing this a lot last night um gear one gear two so this video is gonna come out um eventually really soon it's not it's not gonna be too i'm just gonna record it with my phone it's gonna be too in depth but gear one so i put i put the 11 900k what happened to the music wait a minute hang on guys i'll get back to the chat in a second i want to finish this point so gear one with the unify i actually got it down to 37.5 nanoseconds 59 gigabytes per second bandwidth right gear two i got it to 45 nanoseconds um almost 80 gigabytes a second of bandwidth now what ended up happening when, when I, so when i was benchmarking these gear 2 actually did better in shadow of the tomb raider gear 1 did better in everything else by quite a hefty margin so it just goes to show you that certain game engines so for some reason shadow of the tomb raider likes the bandwidth for some there's something in that game engine dude um but so if i ran this with warzone i would have lows of like 185 if i ran warzone with this one i would be 205 so the latency is fucking massive for warzone right Ma like bandwidth means fuck all in warzone and um strange brigade was like 660 with this one and it was like 710 with this one which i mean these fps numbers are ridiculous anyway but just goes to the, the the strange brigade likes the latency as well right so depending on i mean this is a, this is specifically a rocket lake problem because with comet lake if you increase bandwidth you lower latency anyway you don't have this gear two gear one nonsense right um but it just goes to show you that some games have different lower hanging fruit right so if you're playing a specific game and you're tweaking some shit and you're not seeing an fps increase move on to something else target another fruit right <laughs> like, we have like bowls of fruit of this discord right or this uh channel um let me catch up on the chat here guys does it does that explanation make a lot of sense to people and and then when i do my video so initially initially i just assumed that gear 2 would lose and everything but then when i benchmarked tomb raider first i was like what the fuck and then I was like, God damn it. Now I got to bench everything right now. So all those eight games that I had before, I have to re-bench them all with gear two now. So now I actually do have to make a full video again. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to do this side by side. I'm just going to like post a notepad with all the results and just make a five minute video. And just here's your fucking gear one and gear two and these game engines, right? I'm just going to do a quick one because I still have like six more consults backed up. Um... I just shattered my side panel tuning my RAM. The vibrations are too high for the glass. Dude, uh, I would probably get banned for doing that. I don't care if Mela does it. We did a whole fucking penis anxiety phase with Cyberpunk, right? I'm not, well, we do have girls in the Discord now. 
Maybe we should chill with the penis stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that we'll, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there, dude. If if I get a complaint from a female saying, "Oh, there's just too many dicks in general chat." Okay, maybe we can scale back the dicks a little bit. You know what I mean? Like just, just a fucking little bit. Uh, would you would it help if they were smaller dicks? Maybe not gigantic fucking black ones. You know what I mean? Like, well, like I'm sure we'll find a middle ground somewhere. Um. Battlefield, your core is the lowest hanging fruit, man. You said you had a 9600K. That's six cores, no hyper threading. Battlefield uses everything you give it. Your core count is your hanging fruit there. Oh, yeah. Another thing that I was going to say here. the lowest hanging fruit with this chip as well is the core count oh okay you know what it was so when i was benchmarking the other games so okay okay, okay so let me let me back up here let me back up let me back up so 11 900k gear one 37.9 okay right my 10 900k at 37 nanoseconds why does this win in single threaded applications when this has 20 percent more ipc why so li literally the memory latency is the same they're both at 5.3 gigahertz i test they're both at 5.3 both the same latency why does the 10900k score higher when this has more ipc makes no sense right what's the lowest hanging fruit there i'm assuming it's the cache or the ring clock the ring on this one goes to 5.1 the ring on this one goes to 4.7 ish on the unify so the only thing that i can think of is the cores can talk to each other way faster on this one making the ipc increase of this completely negated and this one has more cash this one has 20 megs of cash this one has 16 cash so it's like it's like in intel somehow artificially created lower hanging fruit on this chip you know what I mean? Like, and like lower hanging fruit that you can't address. It's the same thing. Like when I tell people what GPU should you buy? You should buy the one that has the lowest hanging fruit that you can address. Like power consumption, voltage. You can't address SM count. You cannot address memory um, speed. I mean, not speed, sorry. Um, memory quantity. That's it. So why would you buy a 6800 XT when you cannot control the DLSS? You can't control the RT. You can't control the, you can't add those things in, but you can add voltage and power limit, right? So why would you get this when you can't add cash? You can't, add, you can't force a higher cash clock, right? So. Then again, on the other hand, this would probably destroy most people's Comet Lake chips. It's just it doesn't destroy my Comet Lake chip, right? So, lowest hanging fruit, man. Lowest hanging fruit. I'm catching up. Dr. Bauer said gear two is the way to go. It, well, he only tested one game, right? It might have been the way to go in that one game. But let me preface though. Let me let me preface this. He also tested identical timings. You can't do that. You can't do it that way. Like gear one, gear two. The the gear one on mine was like 3600 C13. The gear two was 4400 c17 
clearly this is gonna have lower latency right and almost as much bandwidth like 10 gigabytes so think about it in terms of percentages right so going from 80 to 60 30 percent more bandwidth going from 45 to 37 oh 22 percent latency what's gonna have what's gonna have a higher impact on gaming 22 percent less latency right so when when i say tomb raider won it was like three fps on an average right so look look at it from this point of view tomb raider won by three fps with gear two warzone and uh, warzone won by 20 fps in gear one and strange brigade won by 60 fps and i mean they're still 650 to 720 or whatever right but still 60 fps the 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 gains you're gonna get in games that take the lower latency are way higher than anything you'll get in gear two way higher dude way higher um that's also with b die though i don't know if it's the same story with like micron 6000 megahertz sticks right i have no fucking clue um let me catch up here um you, but like like if you watch mainstream bench like a mainstream benchmarker is gonna go 3600 c14 or c16 gear one and then they'll do like 4266 c16 gear two like this isn't a good comparison the fuck is this you can crank this down way further with the same voltage both at 1.5 v dim it's like how is that even a good comparison so so if you watch a mainstream benchmarker and you buy things based on what they're telling you sounds like a you problem it's as simple as that if you if you listen to what they're saying it sounds like a you problem you know what i mean and that's not saying that their testing isn't good it's just not the frame chaser way of looking at it we, we take whatever the hell we have and maximize it we don't we don't care about numbers i don't care like 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 it's the same story with um the 5950x benchmarking right i'm only at 3600 c14 and if you go to the comments of that video people are like why is your uh why is your fabric so low why aren't you at 4000 fucking ram speed why aren't you at like like what is like all this like you can tell the people that are making those comments are not frame chasers they're like mainstreamers or like a hardware botters or some weird shit my numbers with this are a way higher fps than anybody else at 4000 megahertz way higher dude because this gets me the most frames i don't care that this isn't 4000 i don't care that it doesn't look good on paper i don't care that fucking ida 64 shows a lower bandwidth number this gets me the most frames period doesn't i don't care this gets me the most frames or C C13. This gets me the most frames. I don't care that it doesn't. I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit. If that's you, then you're in the right place. If if seeing this bothers you because it's not 4,000, you're in the wrong channel. Then you belong at like the OC forums or some shit, right? It, you know what I mean? I'm going to do whatever is necessary to get the most fps i'm gonna test everything but whatever gets me the most fps that's what i recommend to my subscribers and viewers do this this is what you want to do to get the fps don't worry about what fucking der bauer says don't worry about what fucking linus says and all you do this to get your fps 
Whether you choose to believe me or not sounds like a you problem. Can tell you one thing though, my entire Discord ha definitely has the largest conglomeration of people that have over 250 FPS in Warzone. It's an entire Discord of two. You can listen to Linus if you want to. Um.